Hello guys, so I want to show you here some of the advanced features of your Rewinch Rider Remote and as you know how to operate on the basics, I want to show you here some new, new things. So first thing is to turn on the Rider Remote, so tap, hold and release and we go into the main screen. Okay, so as you know already the, the basic ones, when you press the riding button, for example, if I want to go here and ride at let's say 10 km per hour, if I press this button here it will accelerate okay and when i release my finger it will immediately stop so for example if you are a pro rider or if you want to do some handle passes or if you want to release your hand from the the handle and if you want the rewinch to keep running uh, you have one setting that is an advanced feature that is the hands-free okay so if you go here into the menu and if you scroll to menu 4, you can see here hands-free timeout. It's set to 3000 uh, milliseconds. That means it's 3 seconds. So let me show you one thing. Let's go back to the main screen. Okay, so before, when we we pressing this, when we re release, it stops. So now, if you accelerate and in the meantime, without releasing this button here, the riding button, either left or right, in this case is the right one, if you quick press the other button two times quickly, like one, two, it will hold your speed for the definite uh, hands-free time. So let's, let's, let's do it. So I start riding, I'm riding and I want to do a trick and I do one, two, if I release one, two, three and should stop. Okay, as you can see, I, it holds the speed for three seconds. Please bear in mind this is an advanced feature and you need to do it, uh, use it with careful because riding at high speed, it will cover a lot of distance for the, a lot of meters per second and you might not have time to stop and this goes against to your rear winch. Okay, so plan in advance and if you want to use this feature, you need to give it a spare um, rope or spare uh, length for you for your ride. Okay, so let me show you again. I'm riding at 10. I want to do a handle pass one two. I release and then I go back here, and it never stops. Okay, so after now the three seconds that I activate, I, I release and it stops. So imagine I want to do two time handle pass. I just go riding. I press two times. I release. I go back. Never stop. I do it again. I release, then I go back, it never stops, and now I want to stop, I just release, okay? This is how it works. So let's now set the time to a bigger number. It's even more dangerous, but let us let me show you, okay? So let's move it to five seconds, okay? Let's just wait for it to go back to the main screen. All right, so let's go writing, and let's activate the hands-free, so one, two, and then, oh, sorry, <laughs> I didn't press enough. I released this one. So let's do it again. I'm riding at 10 and I do one, two, and then I release two, three, four, five, and stop. Okay, as you can see, the time was extended, okay? And the same time, the same thing goes if I want to, to use it. If I release here, it's, it stops. So if I want to use on this side, let's set this one for, let's say five. And now I want to ride. And I want to keep it tensioning the rope for five seconds. One, two, and now release, and it keeps reeling the rope. And it should stop now. Okay, so let's go back to the default, menu four, and then let's put it at three, three seconds, okay? All right, so this is the hands-free time. So let's go into another setting. Imagine you start uh, at 10 kilometers per hour, but you are doing a long ride and you want to go, let's say 12 or 15 or 20, but you already set this to 10 and you are already riding. So what you need to do is, is that you can adjust the speed on the go, either to go up or to go down. So let's go. I start riding at 10. And now if I want to go up, I just keep my finger on the other button like this and it's running at this speed if I want to lower I just quick press one time like this and I adjust the settings on the go if I release it will basically just stop same thing goes to the other side 
So I'm now ride, riding at 5 and if I want to tension slowly, I just quick, time, quick press the other button like this, even slower. Or if I want to go higher, I go like this. So this is how you adjust the, the speed on the go. So basically it's mimic a throttle where you go progressively accelerating like in a motorcycle or so. You can do it the same with only these two buttons to give you a little bit more freedom of using. So another feature that you have here is the ramping time. So the default is eight seconds and you can increase or decrease this time. So basically this is the acceleration. So the, the higher number you put this, the lower is your acceleration. So if you put, for example, two seconds, you will be building the speed from zero to maximum to the set speed within two seconds. So it's a quick acceleration. So for example, if you want to do tricks or jump starts, you want to go a lower ramping time. So you go here into menu two and you lower this number, for example, to four. And if you are, for example, using it for foiling that you need a longer time to deep water start, you want to go like 12 seconds. So it will be slowly increasing the speed. Let me show you. So. You see it's starting like a stair, so it goes do 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 do. So it's really slowly ramping. So as this is a slow speed, you cannot r really tell the, the, the difference because it needs load to, to be representative. But this is just to give you um, an idea on how to use it, these advanced features, okay? So I just want to cover one more feature that is the bidirectional uh, running and to do so, for example, if I press now here the two, it will go forward at two kilometers per hour. And if I press here, it will go forward at 12, okay? But now imagine you have the 1R2D setup. So you want to go back and forth at 10. So I will set this one going front at 10. And if I want to go back, I will just press here. And I set the negative speed. And now if I press this button, I will go reverse 10 and up 10. Or you can, they can be different numbers if you want. You can go reverse 8 or front 10, or you can swap them. So put negatives on this side and positives on this side. One thing to bear in mind is that you to use the 1R2D, you always need to use to set this for the 1R2D mode. And to do so, you need to keep your finger here on the speed button for five seconds. So you press, it vibrates one time, then you hold, keep holding. And it's activated so now when you press this one it just reels back at 8 and goes front at 10 if you don't activate this one it will just basically just do the reverse here so it you you will enter into the automatic settings of this one so basically you should always use negatives uh, if you are using the 1r2d so let's put this back to to normal ones Okay, and this is some of the advanced features. There are some others, but this will be cover the, the main ones that is on this firmware. If you have any questions or any suggestions, just let us know and you can comment on, the, on, the, on this video or just send us an email directly. Cheers, bye.